so this is my 14 week vlog, um, but I'm almost, well I guess I'm 15 weeks today. So um, recap for week 14, nothing really happened, like at all, <laughs> other than my stomach has grown like, I don't know, maybe like two inches in like four days, it's crazy. Um, so I'll show you, but like, it's, it's just like absolutely huge. Like look how big, and this happened like, like, I can't even, like, suck in. It's just, like, so big. Like, and it's hard, too. Like, I'm definitely not bloated. Like, it's looked like the... Oh, I was fingering you guys. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm huge. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where the back part is. Yeah, there. So, anyway. So, yeah, I, I'm, like, absolutely massive right now. I look probably more like I'm six months pregnant than, than only, like, three and a half. But, yeah, it's really ballooned. Like, it's just really really big. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm just being like critical or if I'm like, you know, comparing myself to other people, but a lot of people that I looked like online, like they are not this big at three and a half. <laughs> so I don't know. It's, I, there's not twins in there. I mean, I've seen it quite a few times, ultrasound. So there's definitely not twins, but I'm huge. <laughs> but it's kind of getting like, it's a, I'm at a fun kind of stage now where I can wear cute clothes. Like so I can wear tight things and not really be like, oh, did I eat a lot or... Anyway, so it's nice. I think I look obviously pregnant now. <laughs> so that's the plus side of being bigger earlier, I guess. But yeah, I'm not sure why I'm so big, like unless the baby's grown like that much in like four days. But yeah, seriously, almost doubled in size. I've grown like a couple inches. So anyway, it's kind of cool but kind of weird, <laughs> and um, I really can't sleep properly anymore, like how I used to on my back, so I'm finding I have to sleep on my left side, like, more now. I can stay on my back for a little while, but m most nights I'll sleep on my back, like, pretty much the whole night, so it's a little bit, it's getting a bit weird sleep-wise. I'm not really used to sleeping on my side, like, the entire night, um, but I've just been propping a pillow <laughs> between my husband and I, <laughs> my poor husband, <laughs> so there's a pillow, like, on my left side and on my right side and so that way if I do kind of roll a little bit if I want to sleep on my back then the pillow will stop me so at least I'll be kind of like you know half so that's been working <laughs> but there is a lot of pressure in there now and um, I can't do certain things like it's bending over like to tie my shoes or whatever it hurts a little bit so I have to like spread my legs open as like far as they'll go and like almost do the split so I can bend over so my stomach doesn't like hit my legs it's weird so I'm sure that when I'm like even bigger it's gonna be even more weird but <laughs> so anyway other than that that's kind of the only thing that's happened like um I definitely have more energy which is nice but it's still like every time I try to do like any type of cardio, I get tired like 20 minutes and I'm so tired. Um, so I'm just finding that I'm still really weak. Like, <laughs> I have more like energy to do things, but it just takes me a little bit longer to do them. And um, yeah, <laughs> so that's getting a bit frustrating. I've been trying to find a solution to doing like weightlifting because I, like a lot of the cardio I would do involved, you know, like you know, muscle too, but I feel like I'm losing a lot of muscle mass right now, so I'm thinking I need to start doing maybe just like some, like weightlifting or something. Um, still haven't gone to the pool. <laughs> I think I just keep making excuses because before, like, I didn't think that I looked obviously pregnant, so I didn't feel comfortable, like, in a two-piece because my one-piece doesn't fit me anymore because my stomach is bigger, so the neck piece, because it's like a halter, it doesn't go over my neck. So I have to like sew it or something. So I think what I might do is snip the back because it's like all attached, it's one piece. So I might have to cut it and then attach some kind of like bow thing. Anyway, so I can't even actually wear my swimsuit. <laughs> but I think now that I look obviously pregnant, maybe I can get away with my two piece. But still, I'm a little bit un self conscious about it. So anyway, my husband's been really great on that front. Like my body's changing so much, and I am seriously really self conscious about it. Not so, not so much my stomach, but, like, everywhere else. <laughs> I think they forget to tell you, they being, I don't know, whoever else, who, who writes the blogs and all the info about being pregnant, uh, your entire body gets bigger, like, not just your stomach. <laughs> your legs, your butt, your arms, everything. Everything gets bigger. So that's just, like, new for me. Like, uh, so anyway, 
Um, my husband has been really great, always complimenting me and saying nice, sweet things. So it's good, makes me feel better. <laughs> so that's nice. So anyway, but um, let's see, what else? I don't know, really. That's kind of it. Symptoms-wise, like I feel totally fine taking my iron pills, and I haven't actually had like an episode for fainting at all. Like, I guess in yeah, about the entire week. So it's been a week now. So that's great. <laughs> because before it was like maybe once or twice, I'd really have to like just take a sec to recoup. But no. So anyway, that's better. Um, the weather in Bordeaux is so gorgeous now and really warm. <laughs> so before it was just raining, felt like the end of winter, it was terribly cold. So anyway, now it's kind of starting to become more like springtime. It's supposed to be kind of almost summer, but anyway, it's kind of like spring right now. But my allergies are absolutely driving me crazy. Like, I was like, to my husband this morning, I was like, hey, I don't understand why God made allergies. Like, why are people allergic to things? Like, that's so stupid. And then right when I said that, like, God made a stupid mistake of, like, making allergies, I got this massive headache. <laughs> and I was like, God, did you just give me that headache? Because I said your idea was really stupid about giving us allergies. <laughs> so anyway, I, my headache's gone now. But really, I was just like... Why, why allergies? It's not useful for anything, unless it is. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I... So maybe there's some scientific reason for people having allergies. But anyway, it just seemed like so ridiculous. So I'm kind of okay right now. I just took my allergy pill, but I'm already getting... My body's getting used to them already. And that's what happens. Like, I've had allergies since I was a kid. And every time... I'd buy a pack, it would work, and it'd work for like an entire month, and then all of a sudden I'd start getting used to it, and it would not do anything. So anyway, it's already been like two and a half months now with this new kind that I've been using, and it's already not working. <laughs> I'm t I've taken it, and it kind of helps through like for the first couple hours, but then it wears off after a couple hours, and I'm, but I can't take anymore because I'm pregnant, so I'm only allowed to take like two pills a day. So anyway, <laughs> allergies are terrible. Um, Sleeping-wise, it really doesn't help because if I'm on my side, then I get congested on one side, and then I turn over and get congested on the other side. So yeah, I've only really been able to breathe out like one nostril each night. So anyway, <laughs> I probably end up snoring. I'm not sure. My husband says I haven't, but <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, so that's kind of it. Just my stomach is really big, and yeah. <laughs> so, short blog. So, I will update you guys next week. This coming week, um, I guess I'll mark my four months the next coming week. So, that'd be really cool <laughs> to say that I'm four months. I've, I, you know what? I've actually been telling people that I'm four months already because I feel like I'm so big. <laughs> Some people are like, oh, how far along are you? I'm like, oh, I'm four months. <laughs> but really, I have one more week to go, and then I'm officially four months. So I guess it's not too much of a fib. I have one more week to go. <laughs> so anyway, I'll update you guys again next week. Okay, ciao.